Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about approval processes and in this video in particular we're talking about approving a approval request. Now what happens when an approval request is approved or rejected and who do we decide to approve or reject them and what options do we have, how do we do it. We're going to be talking about all of that in today's video. So the first thing is where can an approval request be approved or rejected from? Does it have to be in Salesforce? Well, no it doesn't. You can actually approve a approval request from your email, right, straight from your inbox or email. You can approve or reject it from Chatter or even from the Salesforce mobile app. Of course you can do it directly from Salesforce itself from the record page um, but you also have these other three options for if you're on the go uh, or you spend quite a bit of time in your email inbox. Now the next part of approving an approval request is who approves it. <laughs> uh, this could just be one person but often it's actually multiple people that need to approve a request. The more important or high stakes a request is, then probably the more people you'll need to approval or look over it. So there are two different options if we want to allow multiple people to approve. The first one is to approve or reject based on first response. And this means that you might have three different people who can approve or reject requests, but it really only needs one of them. So the first response to the approval request will determine whether the record is approved or rejected. So it's kind of like first in first serve type of deal. Could be any of the three, but just one is fine. The next option that we have for multiple people to approve is we say that we require unanimous approval from all selected approvers. So if you choose three people, then all three of them have to approve it before it can come back as approved. All right, so the record would only be approved if everyone approves the request. And if any approver rejects it, then the entire approval request is rejected. So there are many options for specifying who to send an approval request to. The default one is to let the submitter choose who they want to approve their request manually. Um, but there are other options as well. We can automatically assign an approver using the standard or custom hierarchy fields. So we might want it to automatically go to the submitter's manager, um, or we can automatically assign it to a queue. Uh, this is only available for objects that do support queues, um, but you can assign approval requests to a queue and then have a group of people who are part of that queue and then can kind of take on those approval requests from there. Or we can just automatically assign it to a specific person or an approver. Our final part of approving approval requests is to talk about delegated approvers. Now a delegated approver is someone who is appointed by an already assigned approver as an alternative for approving requests. If you're an approver, you might not be available all the time. All right? You might be busy, you might go on holiday, you might wake up one morning feeling not so well. And so you can delegate your approval privileges or your approval settings to someone else and they can become a delegated approver. If you do set this up, then the user who is the delegated approver will have the same approval requests as their assigned person did. And they can't reassign approval requests, unfortunately, um, but they can approve and reject them. So that's it on how we can approve approval requests in Salesforce. I know it can be a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> um, but I hope that you learned something a bit about the different actions that we can take, about delegated approvers, and about how we might want to set it up if we have multiple people who we want to approve a request. Thanks so much for coming along. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you back here next time.